Hi, and welcome back to Prime Property. I'm Marissa Turner, and today we are continuing our tour of homes here in Ascension Parish, and now we're with Ginger Malden of Colwell Banker One in a gorgeous house. Ginger, tell everybody where we are. Well, we're on Mark Street in Ascension Parish, and the good thing is this house is placed right at the back of the neighborhood on a cul-de-sac, so it's very private. Absolutely, and the house itself is gorgeous. You see we're standing here in the kitchen, and the kitchen is made with uh, all kinds of updates and then all kinds of antiques as well. So let's take a look at this kitchen. We have gorgeous granite. Absolutely. And we have the stainless steel appliances. Yes, we do. We have a double oven, microwave. We have the dishwasher, ice maker, warming tray, and we also have the stove with the pot filler and a griddle. And then we have a built-in refrigerator that is going to remain as well. Okay. And then also the refrigerator is one of those built into the cabinetry, so it's kind of hideaway except for where you can see the ice and, and water dispenser. And the range is a Thermador four burner with the griddle and the hood over the head that, that works. That's, that's really great to have the vent hood where you can actually turn Absolutely. it on and take care of that. And also in the kitchen, like we said, is plenty of antique as well. There's beaded board in the ceiling. Beautiful painted um, refurnished beaded board along with the beams. It's got the big um, custom beams and the beautiful brick. It's um, old resavaged brick and it is truly beautiful. It is. It goes so well with this kitchen blending the old with the new uh, with the stainless appliances and everything. And then of course you have more conveniences. Right in front of us is a TV and a uh, double-sided fireplace right. with gas logs in there. So that's so convenient. So homey and warm right there. And then the living area is just on the other side of that beautiful antique brick wall. Absolutely. So the fireplace leads into the den area, which is also a beautiful room. Mm -hmm. uh, flooring in here is the stained concrete, uh, which is always helpful whenever you're trying to clean up a, a mess in the kitchen, <laughs> I'll tell you that. And, um, and then also you have views of the lovely outdoor courtyard and pool area, which is just beautiful. And right next to us in the kitchen, it just leads to an open area with the dining room. And it has another island, so it's very functional. Behind us in the kitchen is a very large walk-in pantry, and it's got a freezer space, and it's great for entertaining and holding a lot of items. Yeah, you can put all kinds of things in there. If you love doing the, all the decorating and everything, you've got plenty of space in there to, to hide all your little props and food and everything else that's great for a party. Now, the den is really large and has some beautiful features in it. Tell us about that. Well, it's got the stain molding that's throughout the rest of the living area. It has the number two cypress cabinets. It also has places where you can display your beautiful arrangements. It's got plenty of cabinet space underneath, and it's quite large. And it also has speakers, built-in speakers and can lights, and it's just a very functional room. Yeah, those built-ins are gorgeous. And then, of course, you have uh, a great view for the, through the French doors um, of the pool area and that back patio, which is so lovely. Right. The French doors lead out to the back area, and you have windows, so when you're in the living room, you can look out and... It's got a beautiful, large, open patio area, and the pool is just gorgeous. Yeah, and the French doors that lead into the, the den and then also into the dining area, they both have uh, really lovely transoms over them. And these window treatments are great. Are they going to stay? Yes, they are, and they are custom done and truly amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, as we go towards this side of the house, uh, on the other side of the kitchen, there's a very large laundry and then a formal dining. Tell us a little bit about those. Well, the laundry room is extra big. It's got a sink, and it also has a place to have two folding tables. And I tell you what, that laundry room is almost big enough to be a regular bedroom. <laughs> These rooms are so large and generous in this house. Tell us the square footage of the house. Well, the, in, the living area in the house is over 5,000. You have 5,132 living area just in the house itself. But there's also a pool house outside, and the living area in the house is four bedrooms. It also consists of three and a half baths. Yeah, we have over 7,000 under roof, and on top of that 7,000 is a triple storage area with parking. It has an RV parking, and that's another 1680 wow. area. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's massive. It's, it's a whole lot of living area and storage 
it's just really great. The upstairs itself is over 1,800 living area, which that's a house in itself. Yes. And there is an exercise room, a very large exercise room, and then the other two rooms are open. And one of them is used as like a media game room, and the other one could be used as anything an entertaining area. area. A multi-purpose space. Yeah. yeah. And if you needed more bedrooms, that room up there could easily be converted into two additional bedrooms. So. Mm -hmm. It, there's also a full bathroom upstairs, mm -hmm. so it would make it very easy to convert into two additional bedrooms if four is not enough. There you go. Now, speaking of the four, included in that is the master bedroom, and it is beautiful. It really is. It's got the stain trimmed. It's got a closet that is massive. It has a sitting area. The bathroom is just also amazing with, of course, the built-in shower, the separate tub, two vanity areas, and it is just absolutely beautiful. And that's the thing about this home is it just offers so much generous space. And in the master bedroom, there's also speakers, surround sound speakers. There's actually six of them, so you can definitely watch a good movie in the bedroom if you'd like. And there's also um, dual lighting by the bed so you can control the ceiling fan and the light without having to get up and turn off the switch. Now Ginger, it's cold outside today, but I'll tell you what, this outdoor area is gorgeous. Tell it us is, about it. It is gorgeous. It is my favorite area. It, the lot sits on 1.42 acres, so you have a lot of land. And the way they have it designed is just perfect for entertaining. They have a large Hollywood garage, which has the garage door on one side, and it's open toward the back, which allows great entertaining room. You have the speakers out here. You have a TV area. It continues with the antique brick and the cypress out here. Um, and then the pool itself. It's a gunite pool with the stone border, and it's really easy care. They've got it set up where you don't have a whole lot to do to maintain it, so that's great. There's also a kitchen area outside with a barbecue pit, and you have a gas connection. If you want to boil some crawfish, you can just hook up to the gas connection, and you can do that as well. Now, this house really needs to be seen. I know everybody says that about a house, but this one is really impressive whenever you walk through it yourself. If somebody wants a tour, how do they get in touch with you, Ginger? Well, they can simply call me on my cell at 225-806-3733, or they can visit my website, homesbyginger.com, and they can... Um, contact me from there. Okay, and also, if you ever have any questions about any of the homes you see on our show, you can always go to our website at primepropertytv.com. We'll have this uh, segment for you and, of course, all the other ones you've seen on the show today. Now, stay tuned. We'll have more for you here on Prime Property.